Atkins Diet for Weight Loss Introduced in the 1960s by Dr. Robert Atkins, the Atkins diet has been going through a big bang in today's diet world. It is known as one of the most popular diet crazes around, and for long years of existence, it has been considered greatly for weight loss. The reputation of Atkins diet for weight loss actually started when Dr. Atkins stressed on his book, The Doctor. Atkins diet revolution, that the primary factor that triggers people to gain weight is not the level of fats they consume, but the amount of carbohydrates and how their body processes these substances. The role of Atkins diet for weight loss also came out when it was stressed that unlike the other diets, the Atkins targets primarily the insulin which is capable of stimulating the blood sugar levels. It is maintained that when the insulin level in the body is lowered, the more chances for the body to lose weight. Because of this, the Atkins highly advises people to lower the intake of carbohydrates and consider a high level of protein and fat in the diet. Several studies and researches were conducted to support the claims on Atkins diet for weight loss. Two of the recent studies have been publicized to support and confirm the role of Atkins diet for weight loss. Both of these studies are published in some of the major medical journals to make people aware of the role that the Atkins diet has been playing for weight loss. The first study was conducted on 132 patients who were affected by severe obesity. They were placed on either a low-carb diet or a low-fat diet for about six months. Those who favor for the Atkins diet have restricted their intake of carbohydrate to 30 grams, while who were placed on a low-fat diet were given a calorie-controlled diet with not more than 30% of the total intake of calorie from fat. In this study, it was found out that out of 132 severely obese patients only 75 have managed to complete the six months trial. Those who considered a low-carb diet have lost an average of 13 pounds, while those who were placed on a low-fat diet only lost 4 pounds of the total weight. What's more interesting to note is that this study conducted to support the claims of Atkins diet for weight loss has shown no significant changes in the blood pressure and cholesterol levels in both groups. From these findings, it was concluded by many experts that Atkins diet, being a low-carb diet, really works for weight loss. The second study to support the claims of Atkins diet for weight loss was actually carried out for a year. Here, only 63 obese men and women were tested and they were given the choice between low-fat and low-carb diet. To fully notice the weight loss effect of both diets, all of the participants met with a registered dietitian at the start of the test and then at 3, 6, and 12 months into the program. After 12 months, it was noted that those who have preferred the low fat lost an average of only 5.4 pounds, while those who were assigned at low carb lost an average of 9.5 pounds. An increase in the HDL level was even noted among those who have tried Atkins. From those studies, many have noted that Atkins really work for weight loss. But although the role of Atkins diet for weight loss was confirmed by those studies, several concerns about the health risks of Atkins have emerged. With this, the search for the real role of Atkins diet for weight loss continues. For more free educational content, visit learnforfree.biz. Content produced and distributed by AllSuperInfo.